coach were, actually the same areas were largely confused, 12, 14 points. And, you know, we didn't play a lot of those games, so it was a little different. You can simulate all you want in practice, but it's still not the same. So I think winner on brings confidence. Experience. Coming in, and what would have been your response if someone said you could win with really only scoring six points? You know what's funny? It's a team sport. We, we played well. Uh, another game earlier this year where Newark didn't play well. Um, I think it was America. We won on the road where Newark didn't have a good game. Actually, was on the bench a lot. So um, we've had a lot of guys, different guys, step up during the course of the year. And, you know, he. Nauru draws so much attention. Um, he still makes some big time passes and plays that, that helped us win down the stretch. So, I don't know, I, I would be shocked a little bit, but we don't, uh, he doesn't need to hit 23 to, for us to win. And he does a lot of other things to help us win leadership wise, too. What about Barber? In terms of his growth last year, was that last week, and they were keying on him coming in. He goes for 23 tonight. He's got some. Uh, I don't know what they say, uh, cojones out there. <laughs> moxie, yes, yeah, so moxie, there you go. Um, you know what, uh, he's just, he's got a strong belief. He's uh, always had success. I know when he was in high school and played even at the high level and was very successful. And, uh, and he's, he's taking care of that over. He does, he is, his preparation for practice and games is excellent, so he, he gives himself, um, he'll keep improving because he has a great work ethic and great idea. Again, you shuffled the rotation a bunch with this one. What was the what was the motivation there? I tell, it, it's like when we had that 19-day break. There was a big change. It's like there's a lag time before the practice changes in the game, and you got to have enough gumption to make those switches. And uh, the guy that kind of had a Mikko Lyles has been a very good player in practice. He missed a couple weeks early in the year, key weeks. Because um, the NCA issue, you now they got cleared, is fine. Um, and he was able to step in there. I think he'll help us a lot going forward. Does he take the place of Van Green? He did today. I don't want to say that. He, he's, he, uh, he's a little different. He's um, uh, not as quite as athletic in that, but he, he can, he's a good defender. He's a very good all around player, so I don't know. Uh, how bad I didn't realize that Van get into the end. But, um, they have great attitudes about it. They're super happy we got the win. What turned the game in your guys' favor? You know, I think we defended really well the whole way. It was like we were consistent defended, uh, defensively and did. Um, we, I have to look at it. I'm pretty sure we did a great job defending the three. Um, which I think, what were they? Three, four, three, four, three, four. That's great. And against them, that's what you, I mean, that's what felt pretty good. It like, was a game that, that New York felt really pretty good about the way it played. Just very had to make some incredible plays to, to cut that thing. We kind of weathered the storm there, so and, and, he, and we did. You know, Bar Brian's really, Barbara's pretty good at guarding those type guys. He did a good job on the night, so I think that was our. We we, were, we stuck with it defensively. Didn't we? What impact do you think all the fouls had, both in terms of you know sidelining guys like Leski, all the free throws? Uh, yeah, I think it hurt them significantly because I think we made a run there in the second half and Leski went to the bench. Um, he's a really good player. Um, he's good. I hope he's as good. We'll see going forward, but. Uh, I think it affected them. I think, you know, I just, like, I'm tired of sitting guys. I just play, try to play Miko through it. And he hadn't played a lot of minutes. And I think he was obviously playing really well. He missed a shot. He hit big, two big threes. And that hurt us down the stretch. In a sense, but, you know, I thought Frankowski played really good defensively, which is good. Uh, I mean, came with a big steal and big defensive board. And eventually get there where I can, I'm going to have to rest Gru and, and Brian on these back to backs, I'm sure. So, but this one, these two games, we have chances to. Stay out there.